Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel which name is Analytics Pro and this is a new playlist guys where we are going to cover only differences of DAX functions which are commonly asked in an interview. So this is the first video guys of this playlist and here under this tutorial guys I am going to cover the difference of date add versus parallel period. I know guys some of you maybe are aware about the difference of date add versus parallel period but some of guys are still confused at when we need to use date add and when we need to use parallel period and if interviewers ask this difference so you guys may get confused that how we can elaborate the difference of date add versus parallel period and definitely guys some of you guys have already watched the different youtubers video to understand the difference of date add versus parallel period but still guys there are a lot of confusion between this date add and parallel period but after watching this video guys i guarantee with this thing your all the doubts will be clear about date add versus parallel period and you can easily elaborate the difference of date add and parallel period in the front of interviewer so let's begin our class so let's move towards the power bi desktop screen so here we have entered in power bi desktop screen and here you guys can see we have taken three visuals here the first one is table visual the second one is slicer visual and the third one is again table visual and now guys let's look at the data set first so here under this table guys i have taken only two columns dates and sales so here under this table guys i have taken the sales only for a year which is 2020 and now let's go back to the report view and here guys we will apply date add and parallel period and these are the part of time intelligence category so i would like to suggest one thing guys whenever you are using time intelligence dax function so always need to create a date table although it is not mandatory but for the best practice guys you need to create a date calendar table which you guys can create with the help of calendar auto dax function so for creating the automatic calendar guys i will simply go here under this modeling tab and here guys i will click here on this new table because it is also a table manipulation function and now guys i will rename the table name let's say date underscore table and here i will simply use calendar auto and there is no parameter guys so you simply need to start the bracket and close this bracket and hit enter so see guys we have created a date table with the help of calendar auto dax function and now let's go to the table view and here we can see only primary keys firstly guys let me change the format of this date column so i will simply go here under this format option and click here on this short date you guys can take any other format and now guys i will simply go here under this modeling view and simply create a connection or you can say the relationship so I will simply select this date column from this date underscore table and drop here under this main table. And now we guys can see we have established a relationship between one to many. So in this way guys you need to create a relationship from one to many like primary key to foreign keys. And now let's go back to the report view. So firstly guys I will simply display month wise sales. So what I will do guys I will simply expand this date underscore table and simply select this date column and drop here under this table visual so as we already know guys whenever we select any date column it generates the hierarchy so here i want to display month wise sale so what i will do guys i will simply remove year from here day and quarter and now guys i want to see the month wise sale so let me expand this normal table guys and here we have the column which is sales so let me select this sales column and drop it here in this way we can display month wise sale but if we wants to make the comparison guys which is month over month, quarter over quarter, year over year or day over day. So in that case, we guys can use date add function. And that function guys, I have already explained in our DAX expression playlist. So those guys who have not accessed that playlist yet, so simply go to the YouTube guys and search the channel name which is Analytics Pro. And under playlist option guys, you will see this DAX expression playlist. Here you will find 60 videos of DAX function where I have deeply explained all the DAX functions from scratch. And now let's go back to our Power BI desktop screen. So here we will apply date add DAX function first to make the comparison between month over month. So what I will do guys, I will simply go here under this three dots and click here on the new measure. And as we already know guys, date add always work with calculate function. So let me rename this measure name as let's say date add. And now guys, I will start my calculate function. Calculate under expression parameter guys, I will simply take sum of sales which is from the table and let me close this sum function and now i'll put it comma here and here under filter expression parameter guys i will simply write my dax function which name is 
date add and now guys the first parameter is date so under dates parameter guys i will take date underscore table date column which we have created with the help of calendar auto function so our column name is date comma and now i want to compare the sales of previous month i will simply insert minus one comma and under interval guys you guys can see days month quarter or year so i am taking month here and let me close the bracket and hit enter and now let me select this measure and drop here under this table visual so here we guys can clearly analyze the sales of month over month this is the current month sale and this is the previous month you can clearly see it here similar way current month sale and previous month and the reason of empty value is guys because there is no sales of 2019 of december we have just only 2020 years of data and now guys let's apply parallel period so again you need to go here under this new measure and this time i will rename this measure name as parallel period and this is also a time intelligence dax function guys so we always need to start with calculate and under expression parameter guys i will simply take sum of sales column you guys can take any other column if you have in your data set but here i am using sales so let me close this sum function here guys and under filter expression parameter i will use parallel period and now look at the parameters of parallel period so under dates parameter guys i will again take the same column name which is from date underscore table so my column name is date which is from date underscore table comma and the next parameter is again number of intervals so i want to compare with previous month so i'll put it minus one comma and under interval guys you will get to see one difference under date add function guys you will get to see month quarter year and day but under parallel period guys there is no day parameter here under the interval so this is the first difference guys which you can elaborate in the front of interviewer so this time guys i am taking month and close the bracket and hit enter and now let me select this measure and drag and drop here under this table visual and now let's compare so this time guys here is no difference between date add and parallel period values you guys can compare any values all the values are same and now guys here under this slicer visual i am taking this date column which is from the date underscore table so let me select this column and drop it here and under this table visual guys let's take only month and sales so here i will take this date guys and from table guys i am taking sales and let me remove the year from the hierarchy quarter and day and here we can see only month wise sale and now guys what i will do i will select any random date from the slicer let's say february 1 2020 so let me scroll it down so here is our date guys let me select this and here now you can see the difference of date add value versus parallel period value here date add value is 90 80 but if you talk about this parallel period x function guys here it is giving the value of 94081 and you can clearly see the differences in values so the question is how these values are comes here in date add and in parallel period and this is a major difference guys which we are going to explain here under this video that why values are different when you select any specific value from the slicer so let's understand the logic behind this date add versus parallel period firstly we will calculate the sales of parallel period how it is come 94081 because we have already seen guys there is no day parameter in the interval so it is giving you the previous month sale which is the jan sale so whenever you select the feb month sale it will display the previous month sale if you select march month sale it will give you the feb month sale and so on so let's check the jan sale so let me uncheck this slicer guys and see guys the january sale is 94081 so if you select any specific date from the feb month sale it will display the previous month sale suppose guys let me select 2nd of february it will still display the same sale you guys can see it here see guys there is no change in the any other date if you select feb 3 it will show you the same sale because that is the sales of previous month and parallel period function guys it will calculate the total sales of the previous month so i hope you guys are clear with this parallel period and now let's talk about this date add so let me click the same value which is february 1 2020 so as we know guys date add also compare the previous month so if i select february 1 2020 and this is the single date guys so it will give you the sales of previous month of january which is january 1 2020 so now let's go to the table view and check the sales of january 1 2020 
So I'll simply click here guys and simply select from date column and only check the value of January 1, 2020. And now let me open my calculator. So here I will add 2000 plus 7080. So see guys, the answer of January 1, 2020 is 9080. And the same sale guys, you can see it here. And now guys, let's suppose, let me click this Feb 2nd, 2020. So here we guys can see there is no impact on the parallel period because the January sales is 94081. But the difference in date add because it's showing you the sales of January 2, 2020. And now let's also calculate the sales of January 2, 2020. So let's go back to the table view and here I will check the sales only for January 2, 2020. So let me select only January 2 and hit OK. And now let's calculate the sales of Jan 2, 2020. So the first sale is 4156 plus 7780 and hit enter. So see guys, the January 2nd sales is 11,936. So I hope now you guys are clear with the difference of date, add and parallel period. So in this way guys, you can explain the difference in the front of interviewer. And now let's look at the PPT. So this is the first difference guys here under the parameters. There is a day interval in the date add but the day is missing in the parallel period. And this is the next difference guys when you select any date value in the slicer visual guys. So date add function sum up the previous month values of specific date which you have selected in the slicer. But parallel period guys sum up the entire previous month. Either you select any of the specific value in the slicer. It shows the sum of previous month. So if you guys are clear with the difference of date add versus parallel period with the help of this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And also press this bell icon guys else you will miss an update. And those who wants to learn Power BI or SQL from scratch. So you guys can simply follow our YouTube channel which name is Antics Pro. With the help of this free YouTube channel guys you can simply learn Power BI as well as SQL from scratch. And if you click here on this playlist button guys. So you will find multiple playlists are here. So this is for the Power BI full codes and here we have covered advanced topics of power bi and with the help of this dax expression playlist we have covered most of the dax functions from scratch which are majorly used in day to day projects and with the help of this power bi with sql playlist guys you guys can also start your sql journey from this free youtube channel mostly concepts i have already covered about sql but day by day guys, I am also adding more videos about SQL as well as Power BI. So you guys can take free advantage of this channel. And for the job seekers guys, we have this free telegram group where I am keep posting latest Power BI jobs opening as well as you will also find some latest interview question and answers which recently asked by an interviewer. So you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and training. But if you still think guys, you required online paid training sessions because you guys are coming from the different background and difficult to understand the concept from the videos. So we guys also conduct online sessions where we have created a roadmap so that you guys can easily learn. We provide notes, assignment, data set, some scenarios as well. So you guys can also connect us on Insta as well as Facebook. All the links are given here under the description box. You guys can follow us there. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you so much.